Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have with me an Olympus DSLR E620. There is one unique feature in this camera that I think all cameras should include. I want to talk about that and the reasons why I got this camera in the year 2023. Let's do this. The main reason I got this Olympus E620 is to replace my first DSLR, the Olympus E520. I still have the E520, but I cannot power on the camera anymore. I think it's damaged, and the cost to fix the E520 is probably higher than the cost to purchase a used unit of this E620 in a good condition. I thought, why don't I look at the E620 in the used market, and I found one at a very good price in a really good condition and hey E620 is a natural successor to the E520 it has improved image quality it has a better image sensor it has improved overall operations and some new features as well I thought if I want to relieve my nostalgia if I want to revisit my memories of starting out my photography with the Olympus E520 this E620 could be the answer Reason number two why I got this Olympus E620, this camera has a unique feature which I wish all other cameras include. This Olympus E620 has backlit buttons. You heard that right. The buttons on this camera, they glow in the dark. You have no idea how many times I've struggled to locate the buttons on a camera. Say I want to find the menu button or the info button. And it's just so difficult when shooting in almost total darkness. It would have been so much easier if the buttons are backlit. I understand that if I'm shooting with my main camera, my workhorse, say the EM1 Mark II or EM1 Mark III, I have no issues looking at these buttons. Even if both of my eyes close, based on my muscle memory, I know where the buttons are. But the truth is, I also use other cameras than these main cameras that I normally use as a camera review. I also test a lot of other different cameras. And all these cameras, the layout of the buttons are different, the shortcut, the function, it's just so hard to find them from one camera to another. There is no consistent layout. The one solution to this is to have backlit buttons so they can look at them clearly, visibly, even in near dark total darkness condition. I believe that some of the other cameras have this feature as well. The Nikon's higher level flagship like the D4 or D5, they, had, they have backlit buttons, but I don't recall any other cameras have this feature. But hey, I think this should be the default feature for all cameras out there. It would have made so much difference for us to operate in, say, a very dark shooting condition. I understand that at the same time of this launch, there was another DSLR, which was the E450. I don't know which one came first, but they were the same generation. But the E450 was not released in Malaysia and a lot of other parts in the world, while this E620 is a worldwide launch. It's available everywhere. So I consider this E620 as the last ever DSLR from Olympus. And to use a four-thirds system, it brings back a lot of memories. I still have some four-thirds lenses. I have the 40 to 150 f3.5 to 4.5 i have this amazing pancake lens 25 f2.8 i also have the fantastic macro lens the zuko digital 
50 f2 and that is an excellent macro and portrait lens i want to be able to use these lenses natively on the dslrs launched by olympus for third system so having a fully functional camera with a capable image sensor yes this 12 megapixels for third sensor in this e620 is dated now it's nowhere near what the latest 20 megapixels micro for third image sensor can perform in terms of dynamic range resolution high iso everything right the the modern image sensor is way better and the newer micro focus cameras they are faster they, they have more modern features everything is, has surpassed this e620 but it is not about how many features you have it is not about how fast the camera is it's not about how many megapixels or all this technical perfection or how much better the camera is for my workhorse shooting for my clients i have the om1 i have the em1 mark ii these cameras will deliver the best results i can ask for and my clients are happy with them but to come back to the four thirds to come back to where it all started where it all originated and to be able to use my old lenses natively with fast autofocus this is an experience that i really treasure and do want to bring this out from time to time and being the last of its kind i think it has some value at least in my heart this is a special camera Reason number four why I got this Olympus E620, this camera has all the Olympus DNA. Whatever you see in the latest OMD cameras or even the newer cameras from OMD Digital Solutions, you can see the fingerprints, the DNA, the core of the camera, the philosophy, it all came from this four thirds system. Even the last four thirds DSLR, you can see the similarities from this camera and all the newer cameras today. The smaller form factor, the really compact and lightweight construction the really robust build of the camera you can feel it's very solid in hand really good handling of the camera although it's very small but they don't compromise on the handling and then of course there's that super control panel which has been used in all cameras ever since it looks the same except for the latest OM1 we have revamped the menu which is good I'm not complaining I'm just saying that whatever you see today it all came from this camera built-in image stabilization, having really small lenses, everything, the DNA of, of what made Olympus special, you can also see it in this camera. And this camera can perform really well many years ago. It can still deliver fantastic results today. The 12 megapixel image sensor can still deliver really good image quality. I have no issue with the resolution. I really love the skin tones, the colors. There's something beautiful about the blue rendering from this image sensor. You can see the deep blue skies. There's something mesmerizing about that. And overall, the image quality is still very good and the performance of the camera is good enough for me to do my street photography, some shutter therapy sessions where I need to nail some shots critically, some moving subjects, I point the camera at it and I nail the shot. Overall, I'm still very happy with what this E620 can do. Reason number five, I bought this Olympus E620 for 300 ringgit. That's about 80 US dollars or 70 US dollars. It costs almost like nothing. And the fact that I already have my own four thirds lenses, which I can use on this camera directly, I don't have to spend even more money on lenses. And this E620, it shares the same battery as my newer cameras like the EM5 Mark III. I don't even have to spend more money on accessories. And I find that this is really, really good value for money. I can relieve my nostalgia of using the E5 20 and at the same time i can still use this camera it's still very capable and i can use it for my own personal photography projects that's all i have to share about this olympus e620 my reasons of getting it and the one unique feature which i think all cameras should include which is the backlit buttons have you owned one e620 yourself 
please share your thoughts and your experience using this camera in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing beneficial, if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye. Thank you.